What's up, Candy Collectors, and welcome to another Bad Batch Reaction here on the Candy Collector channel. We have just two more episodes, including today, until this show is over. That has all been confirmed, and Disney and Lucasfilm have also confirmed that there will be a season two of the Bad Batch coming in 2022. So this is very, very big news for us. Not only did we get confirmation that these next two episodes are a part of a two-part finale, but we will be getting a season two like we thought. And with the way that these shows tend to work is that they are in development for quite a while. Why they waited until now to announce a season two, I'm not exactly sure, but it could be part of the marketing ploy to get people to jump in for the finale because they know that there's going to be a season two this is sticking around and i think these next two episodes we may be getting some stuff that live action fans and the sort of casual star wars fan might be interested in or at least if they were smart i feel like that is something that they would do there's definitely a bigger overall story that we need to cover in these two episodes mainly what's going on with hunter right now and the whole batch versus crosshair sort of a thing those are definitely big things that we need to touch on within these next two episodes but if they gave us some more of the stormtrooper stuff if maybe we had some sort of hint or reveal as far as Boba Fett goes, I think we could bring in a lot of casual fans into watching this show. I think that a lot of the casual fans heard enough about Clone Wars, heard a lot about Rebels. So I feel like this one may be the straw that breaks the camel's back. This may get them. I definitely think at some point throughout this show's run, we are going to get some big ties into other things, whether it is today, whether it is next week, or at some point in season two, I think we're gonna get some pretty big ties that will pull a lot of those casual fans in to watching the show. And hopefully this opens up their experiences with Lucasfilm Animation, with Star Wars Animation, and they go and they check out the Clone Wars, as well as Rebels, at the very least. Those shows are gonna be very, very important, I feel like, coming up as far as the Ahsoka show goes, to give people a lot of context about where she's been and who she is. So I think every play that they can make to get people to watch those shows before the Ahsoka live action show is just going to help that show do better overall. So let's check out what they got for us, title-wise, description-wise, and thumbnail-wise. Finale Part 1. The Bad Batch find themselves in an uh, in unexpected territory in this thrilling finale, Part 1 of Part 2. Again, one of these, like, this is the most generic descriptions I've, I've ever seen. The Batch has their ideology challenge. The Batch goes on a mission. Just write, the Batch does stuff and call it a day. If you're going to be writing these... Give me just a little bit more. I, I don't see what the harm is in that. Most people aren't even going to read that. To, like, I am one, probably one of the only people who are going to read that. You don't release these early. So, like, what is the harm of just giving me just a little bit more than nothing? I don't want to harp on it or talk too down to it because I feel like they have done these descriptions really well before. But these are just, why even bother at this point? Just leave it blank and just call it a day just say click here anyway checking out the thumbnail though we get something very interesting that i wasn't really necessarily expecting we're getting tarkin at least in the form of a hologram and i guess that it does make sense he is a presence within the show and they don't want to overuse him i guess but i like this i like this i wasn't necessarily expecting this i kind of thought we were going to get him in the beginning and that might be it i thought that he may come back maybe some season if not this season and it looks like he does i'm expecting that he's not going to be playing a very big role at all but touching upon it again i think is a good thing having him appear once again kind of getting an update on what's going on i think that that's smart and i think we could see this in future seasons where he just kind of pops up here or there when there are big things that need to be relayed to him will we see anybody else in this two-part finale i'm not sure but i really hope that they're pulling out all the stops with this do we get palps do we get vader I'm not going to hold my breath, at least for part one. Part two, maybe. 
Last week's episode was fairly straightforward. We have the Batch and Hunter being separated. So the Batch and Omega are gonna have to figure out how to rescue Hunter if they can rescue Hunter. They do have Gregor though now, so that's sweet. But the two are separated. Outside of that, there's not a whole lot going on. I'm expecting that we're gonna be going back to that planet where Hunter is. I don't know if they've taken him off world yet, but it would make sense for us to go back there. It would make sense for us to regroup with the Batch and see what they're doing to try to potentially rescue him. The door has been left wide, wide open. I say, let's stop talking and let's just dive in. Episode 15, finale, part one. My quality's coming in a little rough, but we get the idea. Return to Camino. Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Okay. All right. We are taking Hunter back to Camino. Very cool. Uh, I have a very, very bad feeling Hunter is not rejoining the group anytime soon. They'll know it's a trap. They'll still come for you. Mm. Oh yeah, we got some tension going on here. The hole's patched. Nearly finished getting the systems online. I left Gregor a seat. She wasn't too happy about it. What else is new? Left they Gregor, interesting. I kind of would have thought they would have taken him with them to help him out here. They're down a guy. Oh, you got a guy. <laughs> we going to Camino, friends. Oh, this is gonna be good. Well, I'm a Sue's dead. Probably a lot of people here who have who've gotten offed by the old by the old uh, empire. Where are the rest of them? They'll be here. We'll intercept upon arrival. I leave this to you, Commander. Stay on schedule. Schedule. I question the clone's motives with his old squad. Keep an eye on things. Yes, Admiral. <laughs> we are starting to see dissension in the ranks here. Activating Hunter's comm was intentional. I told you, it to a landing pad that we can use into Poker City. Every platform down there will be swarming with troopers. Not this one. Trust me. Inside info, I like it. I like it. We are at the given coordinates, Omega. There is nothing here. You have to get lower. What? Lower. If I go any lower, we will be in the water. It's the only way to activate the platform. Omega knows what's up. What are you doing on the platform now, though? Is this connected to anything? Take the tube system. The what? We're learning so much about Camino. Wow, look at this. This is cool. How did you know this existed? Nala say. This hmm. tunnel leads to her private research lab. I wonder if she's still here, if they've transported her off Camino. That whole research lab could be flooded with with troopers right now. A ship was detected entering the system, but we lost them below scanner range. It's them. They'll come to us. They don't leave their own behind most of the time. Oh, he seems a little bitter, huh? Interesting play. I don't get it. What's so special about this lab? It's where I was created. Oh, man, we are going to get some big info here. here too. What do you mean? Your mutations were enhanced in this room. Experimental Unit 99 began right here. I was there. Wow. What? Is that true? How could I possibly know that? It was only for a short time before you were sent to be with the other clones. Right. Wow. Right. How old was Omega? In the system. AC, you said all the clone troopers were gone? Correct. Those are not clone troopers. 
the TK troopers. Like on Daro. <laughs> Uh, I wonder when we're gonna hear Stormtrooper for the first time. That'll be sick. Crosshairs after us, not you. Stay out of sight. If things go south, we'll send you a signal. Get back to the ship and contact Rex. All right, leaving her alone again. Uh. And here we all are, together again. You won't be needing your weapons. Okay. Find the kid. Something went wrong. We have to help them. I have an idea. Hmm 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 hmm. Yo, are these the dark trooper? We're loyal to each other, not some empire. You weren't loyal to me. Oh. I was one of you. You may have forgotten, but I haven't. That's why I'm going to give you what you never gave me. A chance. Wow. Wow, I like that. Think of all we could do together. We were brothers once. We can be again. This is very well done. I very much like this. Why would we trust you? Stand down. Negative, Commander. Ooh. Maybe Crosshair is rejoining the batch. <laughs> oh, man. Does that... <laughs> Don't make the same mistake twice. Don't become my enemy. Crosshair. You never were. Oh. I believe you may have activated a few too many drawers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of troopers. We got the batch back, baby. Woohoo! Oh man. Yeah, this is not looking good for Crosshair though. Commander lost control of the situation. All remaining forces out. Let the clones die together. All essential personnel <laughs> removed from Camino. And the chief scientist? Secured. The cloning technology is now firmly under Imperial control. You may fire when ready. Ah ha ha! Are they gonna position. blow up all of Camino? Ooh, I do not want to see them destroy Camino, I'll tell you that. isn't you. It's your inhibitor chip. We can help you. Wrong. I had my chip removed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Long time ago. Oh, ho, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Since when? Woo. Does it matter? Yes. This is who I am. Ooh, I thought he was gonna shoot him, shoot him. Ooh, wow. Well, let's get out of here because I think everything's gonna get blown up pretty soon. So let's uh, let's get a move on, peeps. Three venators are descending on the city. We need to leave. Yeah, let's go. Let's hustle. Let's hustle, peeps. Completely empty. Wow. Yep. Let's get gone, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Ooh.
Well, I sure do hope they get out of there. I would imagine they would. Wow. All right. So Camino is toast. I thought that that episode was really great. Um, another very solid episode. Another good move in this. I guess it is a two-part finale. But it feels more like a three-part finale. Definitely a good next chapter, given the episode we got last week. But man, the big news here is that Camino is toast. Like, that's it. They, they probably don't destroy the planet. I would imagine that they're not bringing the Death Star by anytime soon to just wipe the whole planet out when they can just use the, the Venators and just blow everything up. They are leaving no trace of the, the Kaminoans, which is like pretty much what I thought. You know, the entire place has been evacuated. They've kept a few essential Kaminoans to carry on the technology. But other than that, it's all gone. And this is exactly what I was thinking that there's, you know, the Empire gets involved and, uh, yeah, they're not leaving any survivors. That is, they are wiping you out. And that was pretty crazy. But I'm I'm pretty upset, I'm not gonna lie, about the destruction of Kamino because that means that we're not going to be seeing that return anywhere in canon. You know, you might go to Kamino. Maybe there are more hidden facilities somewhere underneath the water. Um, but at least as far as the main cloning facilities that we see in the prequel trilogy, we're probably never getting those again. We're probably not gonna see those anytime soon. I am interested to know if the Empire knows about the sort of secret facility that we see Cad Bane at with Omega when the Batch came to, to save her. I wonder if they have any clue that that exists because that would be interesting to see. But I am very upset by the fact that we'll just, we'll never get that again. And I know that that's something a lot of people wanted for the Mandalorian would be to go to Kamino. But we're always looking for those sorts of nods and hints, right? But that's really not gonna be a thing anymore. So that's pretty sad, but I still think that there is room for, you know, we just saw here that there's a lot of hidden secrets and things uh, around Camino. So there is still possibility to go to Camino and have something there, but probably just not in the way that we would have originally thought of it. Maybe even the Kaminoans have more secret facilities around the galaxy. Other interesting stuff from this episode, definitely the fact that Omega seemingly remembers or at least was in the room when the batch was being created. Like, that's crazy to me. Um, how old is Omega? I'm assuming she is the same age or roughly the same age, maybe a little bit younger than Boba, um, depending on when she was created. But if the batch were created and, you know, had accelerated age and she doesn't, and she's technically older than them, that's really interesting. That is really, really interesting. And it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense of why she wants to be a part of this group because she was there at their inception. Kind of lays out more questions, I think, than answers. I don't know why they decided to bring that up or what about that is going to matter moving forward. But it was really interesting. It's really interesting. It, it, it has my curiosity peaked. Getting Tarkin was also really great, but it was exactly pretty much like I thought. Um, he was more of just a cameo for almost for a cameo's sake. I mean, it makes sense that they would be reporting back to Tarkin at that point, but in that he would be the one giving the orders to sort of wipe the cloning facility off of Kamino. But that's pretty much exactly what I thought. I, I wish we would have gotten a little bit more, but maybe that is in the next episode or just not at all, because I think at this point, you can, you can take them or leave them. You can use them as much or as little as you want, I feel like. Obviously, I'd like to see more, but I don't necessarily need it. It, it doesn't totally make sense um, to have him in there every week, but it would not make sense if he has some underlings to do the, these sorts of projects. That's totally cool. I'm, I'm all about creating new characters and, and boosting new characters up versus reusing older characters, but it would just be nice to see some 
level of familiarity in this series because the batch are still fairly new omega's fairly new yeah we get rex and we get a couple other little things in there but everybody for the most part in this show the main players are new characters so to see a little bit of old wouldn't wouldn't really hurt i think probably the biggest thing out of this episode though was definitely all of the crosshair hunter crosshair bad batch sort of interactions that we got this week and obviously that crosshair has been without his inhibitor chip for some time that's super super interesting i don't know if they just removed his inhibitor chip um when we thought that they were modifying it or you know reprogramming him and i don't really understand totally the not necessarily the the shift but it's there are some motivation things in here that just have me a little curious as to why he was so gung-ho about it and the rest of the group wasn't did anything happen in that mid-season point when we see his face all get kind of scarred up did something happen to his inhibitor chip then which then caused them to remove it but he was so far down this line of thinking that it kind of just remained so that's maybe one theory there because some of the motivation stuff just doesn't totally, I don't know, jive with me unless he was just a super jerk on the inside the entire time. But I don't know, that, that doesn't totally, totally fly. So for now, I'm going with the theory that it was damaged in that episode eight mid-season episode. They removed it. He was so far down the line anyway, so in the trenches in the Empire that he just continued on that path. Um, and now I think we have a shot at him rejoining the batch. I mean, he physically is going to be rejoining the batch if the batch makes it off of the cloning facility alive, right? Um, because that is still yet to be seen. So now we have a chance. We have a chance for them to kind of sit down with him, have a heart to heart, see if they can sort of pull him back to the light side again. But we'll see. I honestly didn't think that they were gonna go this quick with this. But they must have a plan. Obviously, we are getting a season two. I would have thought season two we would have maybe rescued Crosshair and sort of pulled him back to the batch, have him rejoin the batch for season three, four, and beyond. Unless we do have a flip here in that he flips at the end of this next episode. Maybe he goes back to the Empire. Or he could just eat it at this point. I could, I could see him maybe not making it out of this season alive. We have heard some reports of people who are involved sort of weeping at the end of episode 16. So I don't know what that means. It sounds like somebody might die or it's just a very, very, there's some other sort of emotional something here. So I don't know. It's not exactly the way I would have done this, but I, I have not been disappointed with the paths that they have gone down just yet. Really nothing else in this episode, you know, nothing nothing in the in the season, nothing in this episode has necessarily bothered me. Um, I really don't have any issue with anything. The only issue that I have is that they, they left Gregor there and they could have taken Gregor back, but Gregor just got his opportunity to get out. So I get why he might not be so willing to go back or at least have the batch you know be willing to take him back into it but it would make sense right if they if like they're they're down a guy they can use some help gregor's there he's with sid like why don't they just pull him in for this one mission and then let him go after that i you know that, that boggles my mind a bit but at the same time, I think they knew that they were kind of walking into a death trap. They're a family. They're a unit. Gregor isn't necessarily a part of that, so they're not going to necessarily risk his life. It just would have been nice to have Gregor there, though, because then you know without a doubt that the, the group is making it out, right? And maybe that's also, that's probably from a story perspective, why they wanted to leave Gregor out of this. We know he survives. We know he shows up in Rebels, so... If we leave him out of this mission, then the tension is still there. And that's one of the big things with this this show, this season, these last few episodes here, is the tension is really, really great. They know when to dial it up, and they know when to pull it back. And there's some episodes that were pulled back, and those are the episodes where you feel like, 
you know, maybe these are filler, maybe these are get you to the next point, but slowly. But these are just, they, they have ratcheted the tension way, way up for 14 and 15. And I am assuming it's just getting tightened up a little bit more for this next uh, finale episode, the part two of this finale, episode 16. I am really ready to see how they, they tighten that up. I mean, we just left them in a position where they could be completely blown up in this cloning facility. I don't know what you do next. I don't know where you go from here or how you wrap up this season. Um, because really what they could do now, if they make it out of Camino alive, they get off world. And then really what's what's their biggest mission right now is let's just go talk to Crosshair. Let's just go figure out this Crosshair stuff and deal with that. I don't think you go after the Empire. You're not doing that. Unless some bounty hunters show up in this next episode, you really just don't have any sort of conflict or anything else going on other than the Crosshair stuff. So this could be a very intimate next episode. This feels like it could be either really, really big. They could throw in a lot at the batch for this last episode. It could just be all them trying to get off Camino, or they could get off Camino fairly easily, get out of there, and then have to deal with Crosshair. They could they could escape Camino and then have bounty hunters come after them. They could they could try to find where the Empire is taking people. And that honestly doesn't really sound like a smart play. So I don't think that they should be going up against the Empire anytime soon, but I feel like what what better way to do a finale than that? Unless you are gonna have the very small and intimate sort of the batch and crosshair episode. The only thing I don't wanna see is just them trying to escape Camino for the entirety of this last episode. I think that there are some bigger things story-wise that we can cover versus action. Um, they have shown me that they can do action really, really well and using action as part of a story, but I think right now we still need some big answers or we still need some big wrap up on some of the stuff that's been set up throughout the season, maybe before we go into next season. So I think we need to have a little more of a, of a talky plot point sort of stuff going on than just a straight up 30 minutes of action. Um, that is the only thing that will make me upset is that if it's just straight up 30 minutes of them running and gunning, trying to get off world. Um, I do want to see some talking. I do want to see them figuring out some stuff. I would like a little nugget of something to lead us into season two. And if we can get some sort of big or semi big tied to live action sort of canon material, that would be great too. I think that that would be a, a smart play. Like I've been saying, we want to pull in a lot of people from live action and casual fan areas into the more hardcore stuff, into watching these animated shows. And I think that by doing things like that, you are going to pull in more people. Given everything that we've had already with the creation of the Stormtrooper program, the destruction of Kamino, you know, we have more stuff on Fennec Shan. These are things I think that will draw people into the Bad Batch, but I still think we need one big one, and that's Boba, that's, you know, a, a Grogu nod. Like, there is some other something here that we can do to bring in a lot of those casual and live action fans into the show. Um, it really just takes one more thing, and I would like to see that happen. If it doesn't happen this season, I would expect it to maybe happen next season, or to have something from like the Book of Boba Fett tie directly into the Bad Batch, and it would cause people to go back to watch that show. That's a big part of why people got turned on to watching the Clone Wars in the first place and watching Rebels, or for some of the major big things that happened throughout those shows, particularly with Darth Maul, Obi-Wan, um, you know, the character of Ahsoka becoming an interest to people. So I think you need to do something similar in this show. And if we could do it in this season, I think that would bode well for Star Wars as a whole. Not to belittle anything that they've done up to this point, like the Stormtrooper program stuff, um, the destruction of Kamino, it's all, all really, really great stuff. But I think that for the casual live action fan, 
there's a little more we gotta do. Probably some stuff I missed in here, but not a whole lot of other canon-y goodness, canon nuggets. Like I said, just more progression on things that we've already seen. I'll be interested to see if we get anything juicy in this next episode. But really, I would prefer them to focus more on the story that they were telling with this first season. So I'm not holding out hopes for too many big sort of hardcore fan canon kind of stuff. If you can give me one tie to a lot of the bigger live action stuff, that's a little more concrete. I think that's good for the brand of Star Wars, but I don't totally need it. At, like, I don't need the Uber fan sort of fan service stuff. Give me something for the standard live action person to bring them in. I understand why you're doing that, but don't feel the need to throw in some sort of you know, book reference or deep sort of canon reference in here just because if it doesn't serve the story. Um, and that goes as a whole for a lot of fan service stuff. Unless I see the bigger purpose of why you're doing it, like trying to bring in more casual fans into an animated and sort of a deeper cut form of Star Wars stories, then I'm all for it. But if it is just fan service for the nerdy level of us, you know, the people who are watching the show anyway, and it doesn't serve the story, that's when I start to have a little bit of an issue with it. So we'll see what next week has in store. Like I said, this episode was really, really great. I'm going to have all, obviously I have to go back and rewatch this to see what other little nuggets we can pull out of this episode. But this episode was really solid. I like where they're going with it. I'm just upset that the cloning facility is being destroyed. Let's hope the Bad Batch can get out of there. Let's see what's going on with Crosshair. And I want to know how they wrap this season up. And what they're going to give us as potential hints for next season. Now that we do know that there will be a season two coming in 2020. Two, let's get excited for next week. Anyway, guys. Thank you, as always, for checking out another one of our reactions here on the Canon Collector channel. If you have liked this particular reaction, make sure to go down below and click that little thumbs up button. Click that like button for us. It really helps us out. And please feel free to comment below and give me all of your thoughts and theories for next week on what you think is going to be happening in next week's episode and where they're potentially headed for this season two that we now know exists. And if you want to see more fun Star Wars content like this, these reactions, some of our reviews, our plot summaries, our video game content, make sure to click that subscribe button and make sure that your notifications are on so it lets you know whenever we post a new video. And if you're on TikTok or Instagram, make sure to search up The Canon Collector or Canon Collector to find our profiles on there as well. Once again, thank you guys for checking out this episode 15 of the Bad Batch Reaction. We are going to be back next week with episode 16, the last episode of this season. As we always say to wrap up these videos, may the spires keep you and may the force be with you. Get excited for the finale. <laughs>